Hey guys, welcome to our first match episode of Let's Play Football Manager 2016 in our Canadian MLS adventure with the Vancouver Wake Up. Uh, in our first uh, episode, we were going into the players we had and taking a look more about MLS and the challenges it laid ahead. We now have the transfers that I basically made this season, this transfer season in January, prior to the start of this season. We have sold Gerson Kofi to Genk from Belgium. The fee was from when and 200 million um, so 1 million and 200 thousand yeah so he went to Belgium and I was a little bit surprised that MLS had actually got 33% of the deal I think this is something standard of MLS uh, within uh, the players we sell and if they are homegrown players they actually get 25% instead, which is a few, but it's still a lot of, uh, it's, it's, it's still a lot that MLS gets when we sell a player. And we had to get a, a replacement. And we ended up getting Canadian international, very famous player, Julian de Guzman. He was at Ottawa Fury. We managed to get him for, a, it was somehow, like, I think it was overpriced, but we still got a lot of allocation budget in after the sale of Jerson Kofi and we still have something to spend so it was decent um, we still got a trade um, we sold Steven we trade Steven Bateshear um, he was somehow an established guy but he uh, he was starting to get old 28 years old um, in MLS, the league doesn't stop to play for national team, and he plays for Iran, so that could be an issue in the future. Um, and we got uh, to replace him. Uh, we got the youngster Oscar Soto from the U.S. Um, he's a hot prospect. Uh, he plays for the under 20 ones, but I don't think he will be like uh, that much uh, of a deal of going out during the season. He has a much smaller salary that has have what it less impact in our salary cap, which is quite small. And a lot of uh, he's a like I said, he's a hot prospect. He has a lot of potential, and perhaps it's he's gonna uh, make sure we get an even more high transfer fee in the future. Our preseason was a disappointment, to be fair. I had my assistant coach all the games and we managed to lose all the games to teams that are in division below us. We lost to the Rio Marshes for 1-0, to Carolina Hayward 2-1, Minnesota United 2-1, and we managed to lose to our affiliated club, to Whitecaps FC 2 by 3-2. Those were all friendlies and I didn't play any of them. Uh, so. It was kind of worrying, but it wasn't main, the main point since I didn't play it then. Uh, the tactics I'm going to use is the tactic that was here already. Uh, this is the lineup I decided to start. Uh, I also got uh, here Olsted, Smith, Austin, Watson, Cerebral, Ali QB, uh, Tybert, Laba. Flores, Mane, Morales, and Rivero. Okay, I made a huge mistake. I didn't bought Oscar Soro. I bought Watson Cerebral from New York City. I'm I'm crazy. I'm really crazy here. That was that was a shame what I just did. Because I remember that I yeah. Steve Bateshire went to the NYCFC and not to the LA Galaxy. I really wanted Oscar Soto, but yeah, I'm crazy. This is because I've, I, I've done that way time before I recorded. I'm sorry, guys. Um, 
actually uh, yeah, retreat quite claim Watson Cerebral, um, which is a decent player, um, the same level that Steve Bader here. I'm really sorry by that, uh, that was a shame by my, my end. But that is it guys, uh, we're going to the game, gonna start the season at home against the Toronto FC, it's gonna be awesome, let's go for it. And we have to start in the busy places to start of the MLS for us, our Canadian adventure against a fellow Canadian rival, the Toronto FC, and we're starting at home in the DC place. Uh, let's see how good we can do. Here we have Rivero, Flores, Mane, Rivero, Bendik makes the save and there's a corner key for us. If we manage to go to a winning start, it will be awesome um, to get a positive start in the MLS. Make sure we get to the... Oh, what a goal! Kendall Walston! And we do get to a positive start, like I said. This is very important, a winning start. So we can manage to get to the playoffs. There's Flores. Rivero, Benig makes the save again. We are under pressure against Toronto FC. They have some quality players there. You see Tiovinko, Outdoor, Braley, Penrashi, who? Giovinco, oh no, take that out, take that out, Olsen makes the save, oh no, Dora scores from the rebound. Josie Outdoor ties the game for TFC. It's a shame, but you can't, you can't let them have those opportunities. We have Hadikubi, Tybert, come on, Octavio Rivero, Matias Lava. Nice pass to Kikuta Mane. And then he lost the challenge into the area. Here we go, TFC again. There is outdoor. Outdoor pass it on to Giovinco. Jackson. Cross it in. It passes by everyone in the mid area. Justin Mall. Come on, take that out, guys. Take that out. Benoit Chirou, Justin Morrow, or no, they, 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 they turned the game around. What a shame, Justin Morrow, 2-1 for TFC, just 20 minutes. Our positive start is completely lost, just 10 minutes after we scored. And we had more than a chance, which is weird. That's Benoit Chirou, come on. Take the ball of Giovinco, Outdoor, no, no, Olsted makes an awesome save. Olsted is one of the best keepers in MLS, I'm pretty sure of that. Very good goalkeeper that thing, but he can not do all alone. There's Outdoor, Giovinco. No, Outdoor and Outdoor scores again, we're losing 3-1, no, oh, come on. It can't be true, this is the worst home opener ever we could imagine. And it's just the first half, it can't be true, oh no. I would change something. There's all stat. Boston. Come on, boys, go on. Let's see if I go. Oh no, outdoor, no, not again. Olsted makes the save. Yeah, 
Uh, it's time to make some, some differences. Uh, gotta make some substitutions. Um, there's Kiju the Mane. Um, he's playing out of his role. I put the young Kian Strode in his place. See if we can add something game. If it makes any difference, Kiju the Mane was totally um, neutral. Neutralized in this game, so he couldn't use his space for anything. And here we come the GFC again. This is becoming from a train to a nightmare, just like every single preseason friendly we had. There's old door again. Yurinko, oh no, 4 1 for TFC. You got to be kidding me. Sebastian Yavinko. Come on boys, we gotta do more. This is a Canadian rivalry. We can't do that against those guys from Ontario. We gotta show what is PC made of. Yavinko, no! Olsted! Even you! Come on. 5-1. This is the worst style of a season ever. Ever. Gotta change those guys. Pedro Morales out to Uruguay. Nicolas Mesquita. This cannot be serious. Just in silence because I can't believe in what's just happening. We need to turn some things around. Come on, boys, type it. Benic makes the save and the games disappear. I look at those fans and I imagine how happy they are. They, they might be just disappointed. Saying a lot of bad things about my mom. <laughs> It's not a positive way for a start to a manager. Especially in a league that might be tough as this one. Sadly Flores is not uh, having the impact we expected to have. But we don't have many players to replace him here. So what are we gonna do? Let's go how it is. Or some goals. Uh, put Flores up to the top and give a chance to the speed guy, Darren Maddox. The ball is up to the no, we can't lose. This is not Br Germany and Brazil. No, take that out. We can lose 7 1. This is it possible. This is a shame. This is a shame of a shames. Sebman, Mark Lone, love it, stick to this south, and this is another corner kick for TFC. Come on. Vinkus, I would take the ball out of the area, but Tybert, come on, Rivero, do something, make a go to make us proud. Come on, and that that's the worst thing you can do. <laughs> Gotta change the, the tactic for last game. That that's that's a must. And a wasp and there's Aromatics. 
try to pass it to James Rosen. Why? Why are you floundering? And it's the end. We're totally outclassed at home opener against Toronto FC. This is a shame. Somehow, because this is the only game played for a team. Uh, no, this is not the only game, but this is. Many teams haven't played any game yet. So basically, we're still a playoff bound for the Western Conference. Still the early beginning. We can still survive after it. And. Here's. Press. Yeah, of course, you're impressed with Dio Vinker after he scored those goals against you. Some guys being waived. Uh, but let's go for what matter for us in this series. Let's take a look at the schedule. So, basically, guys, um, I'm gonna play two more matches uh, up front before next episode. Chicago and Orlando City. I will play those two off camera. I make sure to play those just before I tape into against Portland so I don't have the same problem we had with Hawats and Cerebral thing. And I'm gonna show a live com against the game against Portland, uh, Cascadia, Derby, and hopefully we can get some nine points, two games on the road, and a game against our fellow rivals at home. It might be interesting, and we might be able to turn this around. Have you any suggestions over my tactics, player signings, anything? This was the worst start ever but we can definitely get better especially because you can see we still play Toronto FC two times in this season at least in the Canadian Championship that's not gonna be easy but that's it for now guys hit the like button if you liked hit the dislike button if you just liked it you're true and give a white caps fan you might be mad I'm playing with your team and I was totally outclassed like that but I see you guys in the next episode.